Oh, wait, what did you say? Expedition? <laughs> 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 Let me actually put you guys on my mirror. Anytime I've had this set up in my room with the camera tripod <laughs> on my vanity mirror, Simmy's walked in and looked at it like, what the f Good morning, guys. I'm gonna sit a little further back because I look a little crazy right now. Good morning, everybody. It is 8.45 in the morning, and I am currently about to just do... It's crazy because I put all of my makeup in these side drawers whenever I was decorating my room, forgetting that there's drawers, like, right here for me to pull out. So that was an amazing realization I had yesterday. And I transferred everything because it's so much more accessible. Simi and I had planned to leave the house today by 9, and I just wanted to wake up. I didn't need to wake up at 6. That's just normally when I've been setting my alarm, honestly. I stayed up too late last night, and um, also the moment I woke up this morning, like, I knew I had started my menstrual cycle, so I used that as an excuse to allow myself to get a little more rest. As long as I'm ready by nine, it's all good. I'm gonna be picking up breakfast and coffee anyway, so yeah, no worries there. Keep that in mind as we go throughout this video that it is day one. But I should be fine after I take Advil. I normally am. I'm very blessed to normally have a very manageable period, and it typically only lasts about four days or so, but I don't know what it was about my last period it was um not long after i moved here that first period that was the act like the literal worst pain um oh yeah um, i don't know maybe you didn't notice but there's a dresser in the middle of my bedroom we'll get into that later but that was definitely the most painful period i have ever experienced like i feel my stomach now i feel it's not really painful which is uncomfortable but those were the worst cramps i've ever had in my entire life like my uterus felt like it was actually i mean shedding oh my gosh it was the most unignorable painful cramps i've ever experienced i felt like shit like i felt super nauseous that's the first time that i actually felt really nauseous for my period um i found myself like laying on the bathroom floor on my stomach putting my stomach on the cold floor to help me feel better i could not even really stand for long periods of time not to mention i got so nauseous i went and like started dry heaving I'm sorry, but dry heaving over the toilet. I hadn't eaten anything, so that's all that could that's all it could be but that was just horrible and it only lasted it was only bad for you know those hours when it, i woke up and it first started but that's a lot first thing in the morning but big majority of us here are women anyways of course the men are welcome also i'm sure if you have a partner and they're a woman not the first time you've heard it but yeah i am doing my lashes this morning i think that's all we're gonna do i don't know i haven't even disclosed what this video is about yet probably do that once we get in the car <laughs> Right, you guys so we have left the house we're starting off the morning by coming to this coffee shop which is actually behind me here gonna go ahead and go inside get some coffee and grab something to eat because i've yet to do so this morning in today's video we're basically celebrating fall for the very first time in two years as some of you guys may know i did live in miami for two years and while living in florida you really only get to experience one season it's hot all year round along with being humid the entire year so it has been such a breath of fresh air for me since since I moved back some of you guys may know that fall is my absolute favorite season so not being able to experience that you know it it took an adjustment for sure but I never fully got used to it I 
love fall. So although it's nearly mid-November and Christmas has already started, I didn't really get the chance to film my fall video and technically winter doesn't start until December 21st. I think not to be that person because I'm excited for Christmas also but I did want to do a fall themed video as well. So yeah we're at this coffee shop now. I'm gonna go ahead and head inside and get this fall video started. Alright guys, so we are currently at a coffee shop called Queen City Ground. I've been here a couple times. This is my third time coming here. I really like this place. I've tried a couple different coffee shops since living here. I like to order the same thing from any coffee shop I go to, which I feel like really helps me gauge, you know, what their coffee's like. It's like a fair judgment. But today I wanted to try a fall drink. I asked if they had any seasonal drinks and they did. So I decided to get a pumpkin spice latte. Typically the drink that I go for anywhere I go is a iced caramel latte. That's always the go. I haven't tried anything else from them yet, so I'm really excited about this. It's literally spilling all over me. I'm gonna be honest, it's not fantastic. I would recommend the ice caramel latte. I feel like the ice caramel latte here is a similar to what I make at home, which is always what I'm searching for if I am gonna buy coffee. Not a good first impression, but I've had good coffee at this place, I promise. Target one. Yeah. It was this no. guy who filmed. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes, the Target run. Dude. And, and the caption was like, men used to hunt. Yeah, every time I prop my camera up to film myself, I think of the uh, the Target video. Setting up the camera to park is crazy. I didn't get to try my avocado toast while we were inside, but I got my avocado toast. I saw it online. It's basically, I think it's sourdough bread with avocado slices on top that look amazing. Salt, pepper, sesame seeds. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> that looks good. Mm -hmm. It actually is really good. It's very flavorful, and I would for sure get this again. I like the way they cut it too, so it's not just like mush on bread. So we just got to our next location. We are at this place called Crowder's Mountain State Park, I think. Yes. So Simi actually found this place. Did, have you? You haven't been here before, right? Never. No, he just sent it to me the other day and I really wanted to do some sort of outdoor activity Not only for this video, but just the fact that North Carolina has so many options for that. Oh my gosh. I'm just So excited. So we're going to be going on this hike I think it's gonna take about an hour and a half only been on one other hike in Greensboro a few years back I actually made a video regarding that hike as well. It was so much fun It's so rewarding and I just can't wait to get started This is gonna be a first-time experience for the both of us I don't know what's gonna be up there, but the view on the way here it's already speaking for itself i like this tripod because i can just like oh yeah that's perfect and um just the stiffness of this so you can really just oh it. yes like, yeah um, mine or actually look mine it has this button. button i have that same one i use this one because the legs on that one of mine are loose so they'll just oh yeah i've had to buy so many of the same tripod all right you guys so we're here and we have officially started our hike but we came across this man that works here before we started which he actually helped a lot and he gave us this map he said since it's our first time here he would suggest giving us the map and he kind of talked us through where we should go to be able to get the nice you know the nice view kind of how long it would take where not to go he said it's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour to get up and then it'll be a lot quicker to get down but no rush whatsoever super excited to be here he said something about there potentially being a haze yeah and, from wildfire yeah but i'm so excited i mean this view in itself is insane so do you like did you understand what he was not really i'm not the yeah. best at you know, looking at maps in general. Yeah, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, look in front of us, it's just the one trail yeah. and there's signs along the way. So mm -hmm. I think we'll be good.
Like we're looking at them. Wait, let me see. Expedition. <laughs> let me see. That. All right, you guys. So we are about to take a little detour, and we found these huge rocks on the way to our final destination, and just had the urge to climb them. So that is exactly what we're doing. Wait, I'm gonna get on this one first. I have my phone out so I can record so you guys can hear what I'm saying, but probably not the best idea. Okay, we're gonna go all the way to the top. All right, guys, we are still walking up the trail right now. I think we're getting closer. There's a major incline compared to what there was before. It just makes you feel like, you know, you're making progress. We just saw um, a sign that kind of leads you to whatever access point you're wanting to go to. We are walking towards an overlook, which should give us a really nice view. I have no endurance. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And in the pictures, this isn't the view. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. Well, now we know. Yeah. Like, there's no way. Odd. Because that's the highest point. That was the only place to go, so. Yeah. Because I remember him saying there were the towers. And then he said, if you keep going beyond there, then you'll see a sign that has, you know, the warning. Um, oh, yeah. But it looked dead. I didn't hear anything. Didn't hear anything. No one was even walking back. Yeah. I was confused where people were coming from. If we would have stayed there, then we, um, we would have seen them walk. But yeah. We sweet. Ask someone. Your camera's so wide. Yeah, it is. This battery's about to die. South and now at Kava. I love Kava. This was one of the first places I came to. Actually, the day I came, I got here, whenever I moved. Didn't we come to Kava, like the first day? Yeah. Oh my God. You need to like try a piece of this. What is it? There's a chocolate chip blondie, but it's so damn good. Just, Just like break it off. Oh right, I was God. not expecting it. You want like half of it? No, it's good. good. Yeah, I'm so happy to have access to Kava again. We're gonna eat some lunch. You know, we went on our like two hour hike. So, I was getting really hungry. So I always like build my own and typically I get the bowl, but I forgot they have these pitas too, which are fantastic. This is what mine looks like. It rice, it has like white rice, chicken, cucumber, corn, feta cheese. Amazing. Do you remember which one you got? Sorry? Do you remember which one you got? The sweet and spicy? Sweet and spicy, I think. Yeah, we got a pita as well. Yes. 
the button and take the park. Please take the parking ticket. Mm -hmm. So we're at Whole Foods now to do a little bit of grocery shopping. I have two different recipes saved in my phone that we're gonna make tomorrow. We're gonna do a recipe in the crock pot and we're also gonna bake something. So we're gonna go ahead and just get everything at Whole Foods today. So I know, right? Beautiful. We should actually get a cart. Like, look at all the plants. <gasps> look at the owl. Oh, so cute. And it's an air plant. They're super easy to I take care of. Enthralled with these. What are mums? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This plant? Here? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a monstera. So pretty. Okay, we're inside the store now. Whole Foods is such a beautiful grocery store. I love having an excuse to come in here. Even when it's to return something I ordered off of Amazon. I'm like, uh, I actually don't really need that. Guys, look at the yellow apples. I need pink lady apples. I'm not seeing them, but I feel like this is probably as close as we're gonna get. Maybe these are pink lady. I'm not sure, but we're gonna get these. Oh my gosh. I've had the coconut water from this brand, but it's an organic pumpkin spice smoothie. I don't know how much to buy of anything because living alone, like you just really cook for yourself for the most part. I have two things of chicken thighs. I feel like two of everything should be fine. Oh, I don't know. Let me ask my mom. Do you remember I used to drink this all the time? Yes. Does it actually do anything? The mango one is so good. It's good for your gut health. It's, it definitely is. Like it's a fermented drink, which mean? has benefits. It's been sitting for a really long time, basically. But in a way where it's still, oh my God, I don't know. I remember I saw what kombucha was like made out of, like the starting thing, and it looks like a blob. Yeah. It looks like a placenta. <laughs> it actually does. A placenta. Good morning guys. So it's the next day, it's 9.52 right now. I've been up since like 8.30 or so. I originally had plans to go to the gym early this morning, which is what I typically like to do. So whenever I woke up and saw the time, I was like, mm. wasn't feeling it as much, but that's an excuse. So we're gonna go anyways. And then afterwards, I was planning to wash my car ever since I've moved back home and there's a driveway. I have been washing my own car because that's something I've always loved to do i could have went to a self-serve car wash and did it myself but you know in an apartment it's a little bit different so i was paying for car washes the whole time i was living out there but i already repurchased all my products to wash my car and i've already done it um only once since living here actually but i haven't done it since i got my car wrapped and they washed it for me but even that was weeks and weeks ago so yeah and the interior like the white it's easy to clean but um you can just tell they're filthy, so it's time for a wash. I want to do that after the gym. It's already 8. I'm going to go ahead and get dressed, and we are going to get a workout in. Workout is complete. I feel amazing. I'm going to use my lens cap as a tripod i'm trying to focus on my face i am done working out never regret going it's 12 53 i would still love to wash my car so i was looking at self-serve car washes nearby i don't know entirely how they work but i mean i'm bringing all my own products all i need from them is water so as long as i can provide that and the vacuums we are set also look what i brought back this is the same exact lanyard keychain that i had in 2019 like same exact one never got rid of it a classic 
people always feel the need to tell me how much shit I have on my keychain. I love my hoarder keys. <laughs> I remember one time somebody commented on one of my videos that we, I should give them a keychain tour. Yeah, that's how you know there's a lot of shit. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm back at the house. I'm in the kitchen right now. I know I told you guys earlier that I was going to wash my car, which I'm still gonna do, but I said that I was gonna do it at a self-serve car wash type of thing. I did try to go to one. I've never actually utilized the equipment there, so, um, I have everything to wash my car. I already have the hose here. Like, I already know what to expect when I'm washing my car at home. So that's what we're gonna do. Super excited, it feels amazing outside. So, um, yeah, can't wait. My car's very dirty inside and out. Just excited to give my car a deep clean. Right now it's 5:49. believe it or not it's so damn dark outside i'm about to go to a self-serve car wash place but this time i'm just there to use the vacuum I don't know if you guys know, but with little trees, the way you're actually supposed to use them is by you split open the two lines of the top of the package and you just slowly bring the plastic down the ridges of the tree throughout the week to kind of keep the scent fresh so it does you don't use it all at the same time. It just isn't pretty to look at, so I typically, if I do that, I put it on one of my stalls, but I just went ahead and we went all out today. Right, guys so update it is like nine o'clock now and i'm in my comfy clothes for the night so as far as the meal i was supposed to be making for the video well the whole reason i picked a recipe that was supposed to be made in a crock pot was because our oven recently got a crack in it and we can't use it so we have to wait for somebody to come and look at that and we may need to end up replacing a part or just replacing the whole thing i'm not sure but um i initially wanted to make the lasagna soup which i there is a crock pot version but i just wanted to be able to make that on the stove so a few of the plans i had i just have to kind of like work around those yeah like i was filming me making the chili i was supposed to be making and it's just really 
underwhelming to me. Like I wanted the cooking to be like an experience. And I just feel like throwing things in a crock pot isn't the same. Like it's convenient and it's good, but this is not what I was going for. We still got everything to bake that dessert. But yeah, today just flew by. I still have other things that I plan to do tomorrow, but I swear I went to the gym, washed my car and the day was over. Like if I don't wake up at six, the day feels like it lasts three hours. So yeah, that's what I actually plan to do tomorrow. All that good stuff, but just going to chill for now. The chili actually still isn't done. My crock pot recipes take so damn long. It'll be done in like 10 minutes, but yeah, just not like exactly how I wanted things to go, but it is all good. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hi guys, so I just recently got back from a 10 a.m. appointment that I had. I'm back home, I was kind of rushing out of the house, but I've eaten, but I have not had coffee because I ran out of Nespresso pods actually like a few days ago. And I've just yet to order them. I haven't ordered them in a while because where I used to live, they're j they just had a Nespresso boutique. <sighs> I just walked up the step. Oh yeah, I still never went through with the damn order. I'm gonna do that right now. But for now, like I don't have coffee. Like where do I wanna go? I think I'm gonna go back to the coffee shop we went to the other day, but just get what I know tastes good. Cause I, I promise I have good coffee. I love the ice caramel latte. But yeah, I'm about to take all the sheets off of my bed. I'm gonna wash everything. Bedding is off the bed, and now we're gonna go get coffee. Okay, so I got the coffee that I actually like from this coffee shop, which is an iced caramel latte. So good. It's just the perfect richness and sweetness where you can taste the caramel, but it's not just caramel. It doesn't just taste like milk because it's a latte. Double shot, perfect. We're at Target right now. This is the absolute biggest Target I have ever been to and I don't even think it's considered a super Target. Currently here getting a few groceries and just things for dinner for the house. And then I also wanted to get, I wanted to look for this new seasonal Olipop that they have. It's the crisp apple flavor, but they don't have that here. But I do want to get marshmallows because one of the things I really wanted to do for this video and just to have in general is get a bonfire like buy a pre-made bonfire so i wanted to get marshmallows so we'd be able to roast those by the bonfire so we're gonna do that while we're here look Whoa. cool peppermint mochi wow Target run. Oh no! No! Uh, damn. At least you're a woman though. Yeah. You know, he, he, he should be chopping the wood. <laughs> my purse and my phone. I want one like that though. It's 7.20 in the morning. I have no reason to be recording right now. I'll like, we'll talk more later. But my eyes are watering for the fan. But I don't know if you guys noticed anything different. Last night, it was around like 12.30 in the morning. And I just had the urge to take out all of my piercings. <laughs> like I still have some of my ears, but it, that was i had the urge to physically actually take them out but for a few weeks now i've just um i don't know some of my piercings were just getting a little harder to look at i was like like i think i'd actually look i don't want to say look better without it but i just felt like i don't know maybe it wasn't the most flattering on my face and i've realized sometimes with certain like you know just certain days you want to give off different impressions and certain days like if i want to give off more of a softer look or i want to or you know i'm attending something that's a little more professional i'm not saying piercings are unprofessional but in certain fields like they're not allowed you know i don't know i just i felt like obviously whether you want to or not like certain things are just going to automatically give people 
a first impression even if that's not like who you are that's not like what it is um that's just bound to be the case and i don't always want to give off the impression that i'm like super intense mean like i just wanted to appear softer and like i've been feeling softer so yeah i don't know is this what 22 is bringing like i took out my tongue piercing too like all the metal is just here and that's the good thing about piercings like you could just take them out <laughs> so yeah i was like okay if i take them out tonight then the holes will be closed by the morning yep all gone <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm back in my room now. He's muted. Uh, I have our apple spice cake here. I'm just eating this shit on a paper plate. Dishwasher's already been loaded. I'm not washing a dish. <laughs> I went downstairs because I was going to show you guys like cutting it for the first time. Shit had already been torn up. Well, Tennille actually just 
took a slice. It was already cut into, but it's literally late, so. It's super good, very moist, and I think this is actually my first time baking anything from scratch. And I'm impressed, like it's good. It has a crispy outside layer. You can just kind of see, like it's really good. It's not the sweetest dessert, it definitely is sweet, but like I have whipped cream and powdered sugar on it. It'd be really good with some ice cream. But it's super good. This is the type of dessert where it hits the spot, but it doesn't make you feel shitty after. And by that, I just mean a stomach ache from it being super sweet. Very good. But yeah, we have gotten to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it, and I'm so happy I was able to fulfill, you know, some of my fall celebration desires that I haven't been able to do in a while. Certain things I just wasn't able to do that are typically done. You know, like going to Bath and Body Works and getting your fall candles. Just, I, don't, I didn't have as many options that pertained to this season given the fact it's almost December but I liked it I wanted it to be more focused on experiences opposed to consumerism anyways so yeah I'm not mad about it but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching I love each and every one of you you guys are all appreciated I always want you guys to feel loved and welcomed on this channel thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye